the uh, Baltimore lifeboat, which is southwestern Ireland. Um, we were out on a shout during the fast net race, searching for a yacht uh, that had disappeared off the radar. We had three to four meter seas, and they were breaking over the top of our lifeboat, and all of us were absolutely drenched. Two and a half hours later, we found an upturned yacht. Uh, the keel had snapped off and it capsized within 15 seconds, and there was 21 crew in the water. Photos that take the longest to get, really they are the rough weather shots because it's not necessarily the time it takes to press the button, it's more a case of they take a long time to set up. You've got to liaise with the lifeboats and the helicopters, um, talk with the volunteer crews, um, you've got to sort everything out, plan it right down. A five minute shoot could take a month, a month and a half to set up. shooting in the Aran Isles, which is to the west uh, of Ireland. Hugh, who uh, has written the book, uh, and I uh, journeyed over to the Aran Isles on the helicopter, did an exercise with a local lifeboat, and then spent three days on the island. Just an incredible s sight to see the, the bright green island looming up out of the mist. It's wonderful seeing the exhibition in city centres. Um, the ethos behind the exhibition was to take it to city centres where awareness is low. And it's a, a, an exhibition of 52 two metre wide prints. They're waterproof, they've been created for us by Epson, and um, they're available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, whatever the weather, just like the RNLI. And uh, it's great to see the images standing there in the street and have people just wander around, whether they're cycling past, walking past, having a good look at it. Um, they get a view, they get an idea of the, the RLI. One occasion I was in Manchester uh, taking photographs of the, 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 the exhibition in situ and a little kid ran through, stopped at the future crew image uh, and said, Mummy, Mummy, um, it's Balamori. Balamori is shot in Tobamori and um, this is the, the, the shot we've done with the future crew. Best facial hair has to go to Robert Duffy, um, Coxon at Hoth in Eastern Ireland. There's lots of good pubs around. Um, probably went to more than 100, less than 1,000. I think the one that has it for me is Bush's Bar in Baltimore. Um, it is run by the Lifeboat Operations Manager and one of the Coxons of Baltimore Lifeboat. After we'd been out on the Rambler incident, and we came back, um, we all piled into the pub after we got dry, and uh, sunk many a pint. Saltiest sea dog, I think, has got to be Ned Dillon, the coxswain at Arklow Station. I love the shot of Nigel Sweeney, who is the lifeboat operations manager at St Catharines on um, Jersey. An amazing story, uh, an amazing guy, amazing rescue and, um, and a beautiful portrait. For me, Bucky is, is up there as the number one shot. Um, it sits opposite Prince William's forward and it's one of the first shots that I did and it sums up a lifeboat in a, in a raging sea. Wells next to the sea um, in, in Norfolk, incredible, um, amazing crew there, so friendly, um, and I, I've even got to stay at the Coxing's house a couple of times. There's some pretty uh, fit crew around, um, but equally there's uh, some pretty impressively fit lifeguards. They have to be able to run 200 metres in under 40 seconds on sand, and swim 200 metres in three and a half minutes. Uh, there's no way I could keep up with them and so I was just left standing on the beach while they ran circles all around me. How do you manage to stand up, keep dry and get the rough weather shots? It's an awful lot of luck uh, and good balance and, um, and if the horizon isn't 
straight and uh, it's not meant to be straight, so just go with the flow.